Good. Well, that's that's pretty much the first half of my show, ladies and gentlemen. But it's mainly me talking in the first half. Any questions so far? Anything else you'd like to know? Jimmy! Yes. Oh, I'm going to presume all the questions are for me. <laughs> if that's if I'm not being too starry and arrogant. <laughs> Although there's something about my name in this town. <laughs> Jimmy. Just sounds right. <laughs> Go on. What was the question? Yes, I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's one of Wittgenstein's theorems. <laughs> um, you'd suck off his mum. <laughs> He's done you. He has done you. I, I, I'm not from Perth, so I may never have to make that decision. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. You sound like you come from a very broken home. I'm not suggesting you fucked your mum, but only because you wouldn't want to two-time your sister. <laughs> Why do I laugh like a sexual predator? <laughs> I like the way that a sexual predator sounds better in your accent than any other. A sexual predator. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why I laugh like that. It's one of life's mysteries in the same way as why you dressed as a gay lumberjack. <laughs> we, we may never know. I like big, thick logs. Hmm. Yeah. How big's my cock? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not sure whether your mother would be comfortable discussing it, but it's... <laughs> Truth be told, it's quite small, but it smells like a big one. What, sorry? Where's the weirdest place I've had sex? His mum's bum. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> I'm joking, of course. It was his dad's. <laughs> Any other questions, thoughts? Why do I look like Hitler? <laughs> nine, nine, nine. <laughs> Who said that? What hotel? <laughs> ah, well, it's quite a posh one, so it'll have to be your place. <laughs> I don't think... I don't think they'll, they'll let you in. They've got a policy on that sort of thing. <laughs> and even though I'm not paying you, it looks like I am. <laughs> yeah, go on. Where's your best audience? What, sorry? Where's your best What's audience? What's the best audience? Well, without being um, sort of, you know, sycophantic, sir, without sucking up to you, he said in a very patronising manner. <laughs> uh, Glasgow's pretty good. I mean, that's why I'm recording the DVD here. But I don't know if you noticed the cameras, but it's... It's, uh... It's just a, it's just a funny place. Well, I'll, I'll tell you a quick story about Glasgow, just before, before we move on. I'll tell you the reason I'm recording the DVD here. The first time I ever came to Glasgow to play at the Stand Comedy Club, I got on the back of a taxi, yeah? And I said to the book, because I wanted to make a reference to where was rough in town. So I said, excuse me, driver, where's rough in Glasgow? And he said, for you, everywhere. <laughs> and then I was on stage later that night, yeah, on stage, and I told that story on stage, and all I said was, and I thought this was a comment that was beyond any kind of argument, all I said was, Glasgow is quite an aggressive town. And a guy down the front went, no, it fucking isn't it? <laughs> No hint of irony. No, it fucking is, not <laughs> <laughs> I thought this place will do for me. <laughs> now, do you all like drinks and sweets, yes? Yeah. Everyone likes drinks and sweets. Do you sometimes get annoyed paying regular prices for sweets? Do you wish you could pay two or three times as much for exactly the same Maltesers? Because <laughs> if you do, you are in luck. <laughs> We're about to have an interval, and this venue is about to rape you. <laughs> I'll meet you back here in 20 minutes for more jokes. See you then. <laughs>